And it's your boy Shaw coming back with game two of the season. Yes, I am rocking with the Clippers, as you know. And my opponent, he's going with the Phoenix Suns. And my opponent name is Dave. That's all I know him by. That's all I see him in the chat. His name is just Dave. That's it. But uh yeah, man, really right now I'm just I'm still trying to learn my team, trying to figure out the playbooks, and really trying to figure out where I'm gonna put players, you know, just learn as I go with this team man even though this is not a lead where it's not good to try to learn as you go you know but uh that's exactly what i'm doing i'm just learning on the fly with my playbook another thing that i need to get down is these free throws man i swear to god the clippers have the worst free throw releases in this game i feel like deandre jordan his fucking free throw i don't even want to start on this nigga's free throw this nigga free throw is like a mix between shaq Wilt and fucking Snoop Dogg. Y'all remember Snoop Dogg had that dumbass release like in 2K13 or some shit on the part when you get to play with celebrities like him and Bow Wow and shit like that. DeAndre Jordan free throw release is so terrible, man. I, I, I pray down I do not get fouled if I'm trying to go in for a putback. Most of the time, I don't even like trying to put the ball back. I'm like, fuck that, DeAndre Jordan. I'd rather you turn the ball over or you just pass the shit out. I don't even try to put the shit back. And right here, that's J.J. Reddick. I set up J.J. Reddick so perfectly on that play. I don't know how he missed that shot, but I wanted just to put that play in there just to show y'all the type of shots that I was missing. J.J. Reddick is a knockdown shooter. Not only is he a knockdown shooter, but he has CP3, which has a Dama badge, and he's not knocking down that shot, man. Him and Jamal Crawford, man, I know they are knockdown shooters, Shooters, but it it just is not working for me when I come when I come off these screens or whenever I'm calling these plays. Shit is not working for me just yet. But I will get it together, y'all. I will get my shit together. Look at this shit. This twin ass nigga, Mark Keith Moore, is a turn into fucking Akeem Olajuwon. I'm like 2K. When did this nigga become Akeem Olajuwon? Really 2K? When did he become David Robinson? Seriously 2K. When did Mark Keith Morris become Lamarcus Aldridge times 10? Marquis Morris. Motherfucker, Marquis Morris had a monster ass game in this motherfucker. Man, that's uh, Josh Smith going in for the dunk. Knock down whoever that was trying to take that charge. But I bet it was 2K trying to just make him take that charge. But uh, Blake Griffin, he's going to have a big game for me in this game. Blake is a damn beast. Y'all know that I never really just played with the Clippers before. I think I played with them one time in one of my videos on rank matches. But, you know, this is a league. And, you know, we playing with them 12-minute quarters, 48 minutes. So I never really just had a chance to play with Blake Griffin for this long or this stretch of a time. And I just found out that he was a beast, man. Because I was actually looking to uh, trade him, man. Because I really want a back-to-the-basket type power forward like a Blake Griffin. Or not a Blake Griffin, but uh, Lamarcus Aldridge. Or, you know, even AD, which I know ain't nobody trading no fucking AD. AD is just a beast. But you see Blake going in for that nasty-ass dunk. And right at that point, I was just trying to grab the momentum, man, because y'all see I'm down by four. And it seems like I just cannot grab this game at all. He's just getting all these offensive rebounds. That's P.J. Tucker. Y'all know he's a dog in the middle, so I couldn't be mad about that at all. P.J. Tucker, that's a very good dude. I think he's very uh, underrated and overlooked in the real NBA, not on 2K, but just in the real NBA, period. And right here, you see I have it with Blake Griffin. I'm trying to take it with Blake because Blake is having a very good game, man. I'm trying to take it in, and I pass it back out to Chris Paul, but y'all already know I'm trying to go to Blake. But I saw John Salmon's my only free agent pickup, and he knocks down that wing three. And John Salmons is the best player the best role player that I have on my team, man. As y'all see, Paul Pierce is not playing on my team right now. I have him sitting down and fucking Lance Stevens. And I'm not playing with those niggas, man. I swear. As soon as I have a chance to make a trade, Lance Stevenson and Paul old ass Pierce is moving. So if any one of my guys, not my guys, but any one of these guys watching this that's in the league, y'all already know I'm moving Paul Pierce. But I got to, you know, bring in somebody just equal as Paul Pierce. You got to have, you know, that shot, you know, uh, some type of badges, you know. 
I need something to cheese with the guy that I'm getting. But, uh, you know, right here, you see I had the league. I finally grabbed the league. I was down by 11, and now I have a, a two-point lead. So that, I felt good about that. And look at Blake Griffin. He's giving him that shimmy. He don't know where I'm going. I don't pull up the fade, but I pull up the hook shot, and I know how to do the hook shot, man. I purposely, I purposely put up hook shots, man, because a lot of people say hook shots are broken, which it is. It's always in the red, but I know I, I do it with LaMarcus Aldridge all the time with the hook shots, man. I you know, fading it just, it seems so cheese, which it is cheese, because it's almost an unguardable shot. So a lot of people, you know, once the shot clock is going down, a lot of people like to go in the post and just pull it and just throw up a fadeaway uh, jumper. But uh, right here you see Blake Griffin again, just a knockdown shooter, man, right in Tyson Challenge's face. I love Blake Griffin, man. I ain't going to even lie. You see he has 20 points, 10 to 15. If I can see that the screen is small, as y'all know, I don't know if he's 10 to 15 or 10 to 16, but I know that he's shooting a very high percentage right now, and that's all on Tyson Chandler. And that's not off of putbacks or off of alleys like he just got on me right there. That looked like Lob City right there. But that was just all off of just straight up offense from uh, Blake Griffin. But y'all know I can't put every shot that the nigga hit in here, man. And um, now that I'm looking at the Suns, I mean... Shit, man, I, I really I really didn't want to go down 2-0 in this game, 0-2. I really didn't want to go down 0-2. See, I'm giving it back to Blake Griffin. Said I didn't like the fade, but right here I get the fade off of Blake Griffin for another two, so that gives us a one-point lead at that point. As you see, I'm down by uh, four at this point, man. And um, I don't know who, who the hell resurrected Brandon Knight. I don't know how the hell he got back on his team. But I could have swore last year, I don't know when it was, but I could have swore that nigga DeAndre Jordan killed and molested Brandon Knight in the game, man. I don't know how the hell Dave got him on his, on his roster because that nigga supposed to be resting in peace right now. That nigga is supposed to be dead. But fucking Brandon Knight had a monster ass game, this bitch. Just like, Mar man, just like Marquise Morris, Brandon Knight had a monster ass game. I'm like, this nigga ain't even supposed to be living, 2K. This nigga supposed to be dead. This nigga is supposed to be plant food right now. I don't know how the hell this nigga got into this game. And when in the fuck did Tyson Chandler get a damn jumper? Like, 2K, what is really going on? I don't know what it is. But, I mean, man, it, it, it just wasn't going right for me in this game. You see right here, that's John Salmons. Like I say, he was a very big pickup for me, man. I'm glad I got John Salmons on my team because there's no way in hell Paul Pierce old ass could have hit that. He couldn't have hit that shot. Paul Pierce, old aging ass, will not have hit that shot, man. A lot of people can use him, but I just can't. That's just me. I can't use Paul Pierce. The nigga fucking sucks, in my opinion. And look at this. Marquis Morris having a big-ass game, man. I don't really know what's going on. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to learn my team as I go. And I look at my team. Look at this. Blake Griffin. You already know Blake Griffin is going to pass this out to CP3. Ten feet behind the three-point line. He knocks it down. And now we're in the fourth, man. I'm just trying to fight my way back. Shit, I'm talking about everything else, but shit, there's only a minute left in this game. We down by four. We got to play some good-ass defense right now and get some stops. And then not only do we need to get some stops, but we need to get some shots to go. Look at Brandon Knight. This is a damn walking dead-ass nigga right here. This nigga's walking with his damn tongue out. You can see the parts of his skull in his eyes and shit. Nigga just half dead out here. I don't know why the hell 2K put him in the game. Like, shit, I know you putting, bringing back old ass players from like the Sixers and shit. But I mean, Brandon Knight, he's at the free throw line right now. Nigga, I, I mean, I was scared to guard this nigga because I thought he was going to take a bite from my neck and I was going to be infected. I think that's what happened in this game. I think we just got infected by Brandon Knight because, I mean, this walking dead ass nigga, I mean, he got all of these viruses and shit. This nigga is dead, but he's walking right now, 2K, with the fuckery, man, letting this nigga play. But let me get back into this game. J.J. Reddick pull up this three, and, I mean, that was a big three. Three-point lead by him, and there's only 40 seconds left in this game, y'all. We got to play some good D. Not only do we need to play some good D, but we need to get some stops. Not only do we need to get some stops, playing D and getting some good stops, that's two of the same things. But not only do we need to play some D, but we need to get some offense going out here. We're down by three right now. I'm not finna just chunk up a three. We need to play some very good offense. Y'all know I'm going straight to Blake Griffin with that cheesy-ass baseline, and he goes in for that dunk. I was really not, I, I really wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to just pull up like two or three feet and then just pull up the J, but I mean, 2K pretty much just pushed me into the paint. Right now, Brandon Knight, walking dead ass nigga, season three ass nigga. I mean, that nigga's supposed to be in, this nigga supposed to be in the new season of Walking Dead. I don't know which one they own, but the nigga supposed to be in that season. And right here, he misses a free throw. I'm down by two. Chris Paul has the ball. There's only 10 seconds left in this game. 
We finna dance out here. Brandon Knight, yo, slow. You should be moving slow, my nigga. But you a new breed of fucking zombie. But I'm gonna get past him. Pull up behind the three point line, knocks it down. We going into overtime. I hope he only have one second left, man. CP3 with a big shot. We gotta play some good D. And I don't know how the hell that shit even came close to the damn rim. But it almost just it, it almost rattled in. But we going to the overtime now. And so I was like, okay, overtime. We got to win in overtime. We gotta win jump ball. We have to score first because I, I'm a firm believer. Whoever score first in overtime always wins a game. Anytime I've been in overtime, if I score first, I always won a game 100%. I mean, anytime, because I really don't have that many overtime games. But I always know that I need to win the tip, and I need – so we do. We got one out of the two. We won the tip. Now we need to score on this possession. We have to score on this possession. If we score on this possession, we win. If we don't, it can go 50-50. Right here, I just knew that was a good shot by Chris Paul, but he misses. John Salmons get that offensive rebound. I get it out to Chris Paul again. DeAndre Jordan wants the ball. I'm like, bitch, you better not even call for the motherfucking ball. The way your fuck ass releases is on free throws. And right here, I pass it out. He's playing very good D. JJ Reddy has the ball. Trying to force it down into Blake Griffin, but we turned it over. I was like, come on, Blake. You got to come up there and get it. And right here, Brandon Knight. Motherfucker, Brandon. Is that Brandon Knight? Nah, nah, that was Blair. So, okay, I would have been pissed off if that was Brandon Knight. Because he's supposed to be out of energy right now. That nigga's not even a human right now. But uh, he gets that shot to go, so I'm like, all right, shit. We don't let this nigga score first, man. I hate that right here. I tried to force it in with Chris Paul. He gets that block. Alley, now that all the momentum is on his side, he's up by four. Now I'm like, shit. Now I only have like a 20% chance of winning this overtime game. But we do have five minutes, man. So I have plenty of time to make my mistakes up. Right here, I get it out to J.J. Reddick. He stops me in my, in my um whatever. Pass it back down to Chris Paul. Chris Paul get that layup to go. Shit, we only down by two. 100 to 102, man. So Chris Paul has a ball. I really just want to get this shot off for Chris Paul. He pulls up right here on the baseline. Green release. Ties the game up. I'm like, okay, it's a brand new game now. We're tied up. Let's go ahead and get this uh game now. But right here, I was down by two because he shot free throws, which he did a lot in this game. 31 to be exact. And I grabbed the lead again. I mean, I grabbed... Well, I didn't grab anything. Shit, we tied up 104 to 104. We only have a minute 50 left in this game. We got to play impeccable defense, man. I see this guy rolling off of the screen, but I let him to come out and help, and I fucked up, man. He got those straightaway three. What are you doing, Jermaine? What are you doing? What are you doing? I messed up so bad. I did not need a three to drain for him right there. Right now, I'm trying to get my own three, but he reads my play. You little cheating ass nigga. You didn't cheat, but I'm just saying that. But right here, I have to foul him, man, because I'm like, God damn, man. So now, he's up by three still, and he's going to pretty much call the same play again. And I'm going to fuck up and do the same exact thing. I see him coloring around. I try to get him with Chris Paul straight away three. My dumb ass give him a wide open damn shot. He's up by six. He wins the game, man. Dave, I swear you ugly, my nigga. Dave, you are so fucking cheese. I, man, shit. Dave, I swear you an ugly ass nigga. Nigga, you look like well. Buck teeth ass nigga. Oh, who ain't got no bitches looking ass nigga? Shit. Dave, I want my fucking rematch. We will go back. We will be back, man. I am I'm losing. I'm on two right now. But we will get it together, man. Drop your boy a like. If y'all liking the content, I'm dropping losses also. So y'all gotta respect that. It's your boy Sean. I'm signing out. Dave, you can kiss my ass.